Now, the breakdown of a marriage or the loss of a partner is a traumatic experience, even more difficult to navigate if you have children. We are talking on Anne Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group today about becoming a single parent with Jenny Hale and Bridget Gundy from The Parenting Place. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Hi there. Lovely to have you here. Bridget, okay. let's start with you. What were the biggest challenges when you became mm. a single parent? Mm, a couple of things. I think having that person to talk through things with, you know, around decisions for my daughter, the day-to-day -day things, and also the bigger decisions around what schooling is right, friendship issues, just for someone to say, hey, you know, we're doing okay. Discipline, someone to back you up in the discipline. Absolutely. Yeah, mm. that's always a, a big thing. Am I, am I, you know, handling this well? Am I doing okay? And then financially, a single parent family, um, you know, with one income is a real stretch and is definitely challenging at the best of times. Yeah. Mm. Jenny, how can others help? Um, families I've worked with tell me that being practical is really useful. So if you bake a cake, you come around, you put the kettle on, you open the bickies, you're there. Mm. Um, mowing the lawns, there's lots of practical things. I, I think do stuff before you're asked to do stuff. Mm. And then the listening one is probably really, really mm. important. Someone who listens um, to your friend who's on their own. Mm. Um, just t take some of that load. You may not need to give lots of solutions, but I think that there is a need for a good friend to have great listening ears. Mm. Mm. Just have someone there to listen and nod mm. and say, you're all right, you're doing yeah. fine. Mm. So, uh, so Bridget, tell me a little bit about the importance of self-care. Mm. Self-care is everything. I mean, we parent out of our emotional tank. We parent and do life out of that. And if we're on empty, then we're going to struggle, we're going to find things hard. So making sure that you know, you're know you sleeping well, you're eating well, exercising, and as Jenny had said, having that person that you can talk to, whether that be a close friend or even a counsellor. Mm. And the thing is too, is that quite often as a parent, that's the last thing you're thinking about your own welfare, you're looking after your child and you Absolutely. come last, don't you? Absolutely. So just put yourself up there a bit. Mm. Uh, Jenny, how do you navigate a new relationship? I think it's important to go slowly and steadily. Mm. You've, if, if you've got children, that's another little complication there. And children are often very keen to attach to a new person, which is lovely, but it also means that your eyes got to be uh, on the child mm. and just take their hand through it. Perhaps you want to be just a little bit aware or wise towards, is this going anywhere, this relationship? Because I've got another little person that I'm bringing along with me. Mm, there's a whole lot more to factor in, isn't there, yeah. than, just your own, yeah. than just your own self. Uh, what about mm. some useful parenting strategies that you can focus on? What have you found helped you, Bridget? I think it's important to remember that you are a family mm. and you can sometimes feel if there's just two of you that you're not. Um, so embrace that and then embrace each other. Mm. Yeah. And Jenny? Yeah, I think um, keeping up the routines and the rituals, you know, sometimes mm. everything changes. And if we have the meal times, bed times, routines, if you have pizza and Pictionary, Pictionary on Friday night, then that should stay. D don't swap everything out. Because children are looking for, is this predictable? Are we, are the big people okay? If they are, I am as well. And routines say that life is going okay. Yeah. Do you have any Good. final tips or any coping strategies or anything that you'd like to share? I think just look after yourself. You know, like you'd said earlier, you're important and you are a mum, um, and but you're not just a mum, you're also, or a dad, you are a person and a woman and a man that needs attending to. So yeah, take care. Excellent. Jenny, mm. what about you? I think the, um, the routines and the rituals are probably really important. Mm. And um, the listening friend, having that empathy and understanding, even if you don't have the answers, just be ready to, to be there to listen to your newly single friend. Yeah. Excellent. That's really, mm. really great advice from the both of you. Thank you both so much for joining us today. The Coffee Group is brought to you by Anne Marmpedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. Now, if you have any worries that you'd like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the Cafe Facebook page. Now, one contributor is going to win this cool ebook from Anne Mum. This week's Good winner morning, is... Mal. Your long black with soy is coming right up. Oh, that's so cute. This Jessie telling me what my coffee order is going to be. Uh, this week's winner is Francine Little. And remember, you can put your own voice into this book. Congratulations. Your e-book is on the way.